Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to add a halftone shadow to a letter in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, so first we'll start a new document. I'll come over here to Create New. We'll come up here to Print, and then choose Letter, and then come down here to the bottom right to Create. And there are really two ways that we can do this. We can use our gradient tool or just a solid color halftone. So the first way I'm going to show you is the gradient. Let's make our text. I'm going to hit T on my keyboard to get to the text tool. And then I'll click once and you'll see some lorem ipsum there that, you'll, that you can replace. Uh, I'm going to type A. And I'll get on my selection tool and just pull on a corner while holding shift to make it quite a lot bigger. I think I'll change my font to kind of a thick, chunky, bold font. And my favorite one for that is Montserrat. This is a free Google font that you can get online. We'll choose Montserrat bold or maybe black. Eh, let's go bold. Okay. I'm going to pull this off to the side just so that we can keep our live text if we need to. And to do that, I'm holding shift and option and just dragging it. So it makes a copy over here. And then I'm going to click on this one and outline it. So to do that, I'm going to go up to type, create outlines, and we'll make this text green. So I'll hit X on my keyboard to bring my fill to the front. And then I'm just going to choose green over here in the color palette. And if you don't see your color palette, you can come up here to window and choose it right here. And all the other palettes you see are also available right here. Okay. I'm going to option and drag this to make a copy behind to get our drop shadow. And I'm going to leave it in the front right now, just so we can see what we're working on. But normally this would be obviously behind the letter. Okay. Let's open our gradient window. So we'll come up here to window and then go down to gradient. And I also want to get on my gradient tool, which is right over here. First, I'll click right here on the gradient slider to apply a gradient to this. And let's pull this over here like this. So we have a lot of white because that way you can really see what's going on with the color halftone. Now you might notice that the normal gradient annotator is not on this letter. And the reason it's not showing up is because this letter A is a group. So we are going to have to ungroup it with shift command G that changes it to a compound path. And you can see that right up here. And this will cause our gradient annotator to show up. Now there are a lot of cool things we can do with this. We can move this in and out. And if we move our mouse outside it just a little bit, we can rotate the gradient like that. Okay. So let's go to effect and then down here to Photoshop effects, go to pixelate and then color halftone. And I'll leave my max radius at about 10. I'll have these others at 30 and we'll just say, okay. Now, if we zoom in, I'll hit Z on my keyboard and draw a box around it. You can kind of see what's happening. This actually wasn't white. It was just kind of gray. So if it were completely white and we slid this over like this, you can see that those dots completely fade out and here where it's black, they get so strong that they just become solid black. So you can really play around with this. If we get back on our gradient tool and get some of the effects that we want, I'm just going to move this up like this. So we get a little bit more of this halftone pattern instead of solid black. Okay. Let's rotate this down like this and then just move it down here a little bit. So now we're getting half tone across all the different parts of the A, which is what I want. Even though they're different in different parts, I kind of like that effect. Okay. Let's click off of that, get back on our selection tool. And I'm just going to click on the green A and bring it to the front with shift command, right bracket with shift command, right bracket on a PC that's shift control, right bracket. And we'll just move it down here until this looks like a really cool shadow. So that's the first way of making a color halftone shadow on your text. The second way is to have just a solid color that becomes a gradient halftone. So let's make a copy of both of these. I've got them selected with my selection tool and I'll option drag to pull them down here. Okay. Now we have all of these same effects in our appearance palette. You can see the fill here and then the color halftone here. 
Now if we just click on this fill, we can choose just a medium gray and it'll make that halftone pattern a really consistent, solid thing. If we want more black in it, we can come over here to a darker gray and play around with it that way or lighter to get tiny dots. So that's two different ways you can do the color halftone. Now I want to show you how to make this a vector. This A is already vector, so I'm going to hide it with Command 3 or Control 3. Now we'll select the drop shadow, and I'm going to come up here to Object Rasterize. So we are going to rasterize this at CMYK at 300 PPI, and we'll say OK. Now when we do this, if I zoom in, you can see that everything's a little fuzzy, and that is OK. We have to get to this point before we can make it a vector. Okay, I've got it selected still, and now I'm going to click on Image Trace. And Image Trace will do its best to kind of make a vector of it. Um, I'm going to get in here on my Image Trace panel, so I'll click this button. Now we can change some of these settings to get it to look more like it did. We can increase the threshold by quite a lot, and we can increase the number of paths to make them look more round. You've probably noticed how they're kind of squarish. Maybe reduce it a little bit. Yeah, that looks really nice. And now we'll bring the noise down to as low as it will go. And that'll bring a lot of this detail back. Okay, this is looking pretty good to me, so let's expand. That's right up here in your control panel. Now, if this isn't open, it's right under Window Control also. Okay, so let's expand this. And now it is vector. Now we still have all the little white pieces in here. Let's select those and delete them. I'll hit Y on my keyboard to get to the magic wand. And I'll just click out here in the white and delete that. Now we're left with only the black. You can see the black fill right over here. And we can change this to a different color now if we wanted to. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Let's unhide and get our letter A back. So we can go to Object, Show All. And there it is. And you could go through the same process with this halftone pattern too if you wanted to change it to vector. All right, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, thank you.